everybody. So today I am filming this look. This is inspired by Chase Icon. Chase is a recording artist who you've probably heard of because she is iconic. The makeup look is inspired by this photo and the hair inspired by this photo. I love this look and I definitely wanted to make sure that I added her to my trans icon series because she is amazing. All I did for this hair was did a ponytail blowout. It was very easy um, and made sure to part it down the middle and give that kind of messy curl look. I mentioned Chase when I did my Aisha Erotica video and a couple people definitely wanted me to add her onto the list. So I had to make sure that I paid homage to an up and coming legend. Chase, if you see this, I hope you know how much we appreciate you. I love your music. I can't wait to hear more. So Cowgirl, Club Cooter, Shoes, Chase Radio are some of my absolute favorites. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. It truly means more to me than I could ever say. I know that you have a lot of options for YouTube videos to watch. So knowing that you stop and checked my note means the world to me. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, everyone. So we're starting out with P. Louise base on the eyes. I do go ahead and do my eyebrows after this with the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I just forgot to do them before, but it truly doesn't matter what order you do them in. Um, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Orgy Palette today for the shadows. I'll be starting out with the lightest color in the palette, which is I'm Shy on my lid. And then I will be going into the color Top in my crease. And I used my finger to just apply it quicker, um, to just apply I'm Shy quicker all over my lid. Then I'm using, um, oh, and on my brow bone as well too, forgot to mention. <laughs> Then I use top in my crease, and I'm doing kind of like a really, really smoky, blurry kind of liner situation. So I'm going to go ahead and use some darker colors for that as well, too. I just wanted to get the base down pat before we moved into um, the liner. I like to do this first, uh, and that's very simple, the... Uh, the shadow. It's literally just to give some depth to the eye. Then I went in with the Made by Mitchell Tiger's Eye All Smudge No Budge Pencil. Um, love this product. The black version, the uh, brown version, the nude version. Love them all. And I'm just going ahead and smudging this along the upper lash line and um, it can be very messy because we're going to go ahead and clean it up with a makeup wipe after the very end anyway so it truly doesn't matter and I'm bringing that along my lash line and blending that into the lid making sure that it is a nice base for the depth of the liner shadow or the shadow liner. Then I'm going to go ahead um, and I'm going to use the color Happy Ending. And that's the color I used the most for the blurred out liner. Um, I went ahead and applied that over top of the Made by Mitchell pencil. And then I continually blended and smoked it out and blended and smoked it out some more using my finger as well too because I find that that can be a very good tool for blending out uh, shadow or liner in this case. Then I went ahead and I deepened it up with the black in the Orgy palette which is the color Glory Hole and I went ahead and blended that just more so more concentrated towards the center of the liner. That way it didn't give the whole liner a black effect. It just deepened the brown that was already on the liner. I did make sure as well too to kind of blend the edge of the liner up a bit into, into the crease just so that it didn't look like a definitive um, stopping point for the crease. I did also make sure that I blended like that the eyeliner up into the uh, lid 
as well too. As you can see there, I found that that really gave a nice effect. Chase kind of has, at least from what I can see, um, the liner, but then the liner kind of goes up into the lid a little bit. So that's why I wanted to emulate that. Um, for liquid eyeliner, I used the Made by Mitchell Black Milk Graphic Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, once again, one of my favorites. I really, really love his products. They are some of my favorites on the market. It's just harder to get them in Canada, so that's why I don't have more, honestly. Um, and applying lashes, and then we're going to go ahead in with the skin. The eyes are pretty much done. We just do the bottom of the eyes after the base. So I used the NYX Plump Right Back Serum and Primer, and then I went ahead in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer, and I'm blending that out with a Real Technique sponge on my chin, my forehead, and then I use my finger under my eyes. Uh, I use my finger under my eyes for a more impactful kind of look. Um, I find that it really airbrushes it almost uh, because it fills in pores, I think. I think that's the main reason. It's not sucking up any of the product like a sponge does, um, and it's kind of laying it over top of the skin as opposed to uh, really setting it in. I hope that makes sense. Um, then I'm going ahead and using a foundation brush to apply all over the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. And then once I have that applied all over, I will go over and make it more skin-like with a sponge. So that's when I will go back in and use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge, whatever. Um, and I will reapply or re-go over all of my foundation so it doesn't have brush, brush strokes or anything like that. For contour, I used the e.l.f. Light Medium Halo Glow Contour, and I just applied that along the perimeter of my face. A little bit of a cheekbone, nothing crazy. Um, I usually just like it along the perimeter of my face, so... I went ahead and did that for blush. I wanted something a bit more of like a sweet pink color. Uh, so I used Made by Mitchell Sweet Cheeks Blush. And I wanted it to be soft, so I didn't go over any of... I didn't go over it with um, powder blush later after I set everything. So... Just making sure that that is all blended and smooth looking and soft looking. We don't want anything to be harsh. Um, and also, I don't apply the contour right on my nose. I just take a bit of a sponge and just dab that on my nose just to kind of bring that color into my face as well too as opposed to making the middle of my face look so bright and then the outer of my face look darker. I want to make sure that I'm marrying the two and making it look more cohesive. So for the Sweet Cheeks blush, uh, we are just going ahead and applying that along the cheeks. There's no real rhyme or reason. I just want that kind of like a wash of color. I don't do that uh, concentrated on the apple or anything like that. Then I'm using the MAC Studio Fix powder, and I'm using the uh, Shivering White color, and then I'm, I'm under my eyes, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my regular skin color all over my face. For loose powder today, I'm using the e.l.f. Light Halo Glow Setting Powder. So the color is light, and the product is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Um... I like this. I was using the e.l.f. Uh, Luminance setting powder, I believe it's called, um, and I ran out of that, and I found this in my collection, so I wanted to go with the Soft Luminance High Definition setting powder. I was using that, um, and I'm using this now because I ran out of the other one, but I really like this. Uh, I think that this is really beautiful. I had a couple compliments on how soft my skin looked. Um, so if you're in the market for a loose powder, uh, I would look into this. I really like loose powder. I don't know why that's, like, kind of my thing. Um, I, for, like, the longest time, it wasn't, like, eyeshadow palettes or eyeliner or lip color. I was, like, buying a ridiculous amount of loose powder. Uh, don't ask me why. It's not, like, a fun product or anything, but I found it, that it was 
whatever. Uh, then I'm using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze, and I am applying that along the perimeter of the face. Uh, for a little bit of a glow, nothing too crazy, I used the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter just along my cheeks, and then I blended that out with a highlighting brush just to soften that up a bit. I also set my face at the end with the Cream Shop and Hello Kitty Celebrate Setting and Priming Spray. And I cleaned my, oh yes, under my eyes as well too, I totally forgot. Um, so I'm using the Made by Mitchell Tiger's Eye All Smudge No Budge Pencil. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Happy Ending to kind of extend that blurred smudged out liner to the bottom of my eye. I'm not going to bring in too much product under my eye because I want it to be pretty bare and just the um, waterline. But I am going ahead and using a little bit of that happy ending to kind of mesh that in. For lips, I use the NYX Nude Pink Lip Pencil and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Diet Mannequin Velvet Trap Lipstick. All I did was a ponytail blowout, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!